Welcome to the channel RIK Learner for KCED NEET. Figure shows a boy on a horizontal platform A on a smooth horizontal surface holding a rope attached to a box B. Boy pulls the rope with a constant force of 50 Newton. Boy does not slip over the platform. The combined mass of a platform A and boy is 250 kg and that of box B is 500 kg. The velocity of A relative to the box B 5 seconds after the boy on A begins to pull the rope will be. What it is said in the question is that the boy pulling this block B towards him right so this is how he is trying to pull the box towards him and with what speed uh, the, the force is given right so with what force it is 50 Newton force right and one thing you have to observe the surface on which both the blocks A and B are kept are smooth and boy does not slip over the platform. Right? Uh, now, <coughs> what we have to find out finally, the velocity of uh, the platform A right, with respect to B only after 5 seconds uh, during when the boy applies the force. Okay, so in this situation, what I have to say you is, uh, I have to apply Newton's third law. Newton's third law. And we have to believe that the smooth ground, right? That means we are having no friction uh, between A and the ground, B and the ground. There is no friction. In that situation, when I apply Newton's third law, okay, so what happens here? The block B feels a force of 50 Newton. Right. So how much force is acting on B? 50 Newton. And what is the mass of this B, which is said 500 kg in the question? Right. This is this box is 500 kg. Then, when I apply F is equal to M A, then A is equal to F divided by M, which is equals 50 divided by 500. Otherwise, I say A is equals how much? It is a 1 by 10 meter per square second. This is the acceleration of a B. Right? This is the acceleration of B. So, acceleration of B is towards the boy. Meantime, uh, the block B applies a force on the platform, otherwise on the boy who is pulling the block. Okay. So, now this block B is uh, pulling back this person towards it with the same force 50. Newton. So, one force is action and another force is reaction. This is what Newton's third law says. The two forces are acting on different bodies. Okay. So, one is actual applied force. So, now <coughs> in this situation, the force which is acting on this whole system, the combined system of boy and the uh, platform A is 50 Newton. So, again when I apply this F is equals MA, I have to write platform acceleration as a AA, which is equal to 50 Newton divided by the combined mass of a boy and the platform is a given here, right? So, platform and the boy in total 250 kg, right? So, this mass is 250 kg in total. That I have to use in the denominator. So, definitely AA is a how much? 1 divided by 
0.5 meter per square second. So this will be the acceleration of uh, this system that is boy and the platform. Now what actually I have to find in the question is the velocity of A, right, velocity of A relative to B. The velocity of A relative to B should be found. And here we are notice that uh, the system is accelerating. <coughs> Therefore, I have to find relative acceleration. So, let the relative acceleration of A with respect to B is equal to 1 divided by 5, which will be plus, that is towards right and minus and inside. What I have to use is minus 1 by 10. Why actually I am using minus 1 by 10? Because this block is moving towards it. In this situation, the two accelerations will add. <coughs> So now what it happens here is 1 divided by 5 plus 1 divided by 10. Right. So this is the acceleration of A with respect to B. That is how much? It is 15 divided by, right, uh, this uh, 15 divided by, it is, I can write it 5 into 10. Otherwise, I can simply say it is a 3 divided by 2 meter per square second. Otherwise, I can say 1.5 meter per square second. This is the acceleration. And further, what is happening here is, right, so what I have to think about, uh, further, I have to find the acceleration, I mean velocity, velocity of uh, A with respect to B after 5 seconds, right. So, for that, um, we actually have written 10, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, so it, it must be 3 by 10, right. So, here it is a 3, 3 divided by 10, now it is right. So, acceleration of A with respect to B is 3 divided by 10 meter per square second. So, what actually I said, uh, finally I have to find the velocity of uh, A with respect to B. Simply, I use the formula VO plus AT. Here, A is relative acceleration of A with respect to B and relative velocity with respect to B in the initial situation. So, let it be 0. Okay. So, this uh, assumed equal to 0. So, then what I can find is VAB is equal to, it is 0 plus uh, this one, acceleration of A with respect to B is 3 divided by 10, right, into T is 5 seconds, because we have to find the velocity after 5 seconds. So, this is uh, 3 divided by 2 and VAB is equal to 3 divided by 2 meter per second right so this will be positive that means it will be towards b okay so the answer is uh, uh, this one the relative velocity of uh, a with respect to b after 5 seconds will be 3 by 2 meter per second and this is equal to 1.5 meter per second okay so 1.5 meter per second uh, is uh, this option right the second option is right